Welcome to Germany vs USA and today we're going to talk about job applications. You might already have heard that applying for a job in Germany and the USA is very different. Especially I guess the documents that you will have to send in. Um, you do not want to send a German Lebenslauf or CV or resume to an American employ employer I guess. That might be weird because well we have a lot different laws in the sense for one and two y'all use CVs a lot more and we use more resumes mm -hmm. so the difference um, between a CV is actually I guess it's just bigger has more information right it's more to my understanding yeah. CV curriculum vitae yeah it's it's that's Latin mm -hmm. boom I knew it <laughs> um, it is more like academic, a lot of academics use uh -huh. it, and then it's a lot more detailed. Okay. Um, where like an American resume, it's just a really precise, quick document. Very factual, I guess. Just factual, one page, let me read it in a half second, mm -hmm. and just go. Okay. Um, and with applying to jobs now, I mean, we both know it from being just in the 21st century, so much of it is computer based. Mm -hmm. They just basically, you apply, they take it and like they're going to scan it to see if you meet like certain criteria. criteria and then you know maybe they'll call you maybe they won't okay so but certain things you're not supposed to mention in an American uh, resume I guess right so on like the German CV you'll have your picture you actually send in your diary <laughs> yeah, your diary your blog uh, but no but you'll have like your yeah. picture right yeah. um, that's I mean that's that's a must, basically, in a yeah, German, uh, application. Very first thing, no, you don't do that in the U.S. Uh -huh. um, unless you're a model or uh, trying to be an actor. I mean, you see it sometimes in California, uh, like in the L.A. area. Um, but if people are applying for actors' job, I guess. Who just, yeah. They just do it. Maybe it's just a California thing, but uh -huh. for the most part, you do not put a picture okay. on there. Um, and that goes back to a lot of our laws where, you know, employers are not allowed to ask um, for your race, oh, well, let me re re say this. You're not, you don't have to give it to them. Okay. So, like, you'll apply, and then there'll be a section at the end where it'll just want to gather more information. Right. But it's private, and so you can basically say, I don't want to identify. Um, so, like, they ask for your race or gender, religion. Uh, religion. They won't, you probably won't ever get that question mm -hmm. um, because they won't ask about that either mm -hmm. um, but like you can, it can be used against them right uh, right right and so they because of our laws you you know you don't have to answer any of that mm -hmm. um, so we're here like even and I may be wrong in this but like they may even ask you like what your father does right actually they perhaps in an application they, they they probably would never ask that but I've seen like like resumes and applications where people mention that they would also mention their religion they will usually always mention like the origin, like where you were born or where you come from. Whereas that's also something in an American resume yeah. you would not mention, like no. So like saying you wouldn't like people wouldn't know that you were from Mississippi if you were applying for a job. Right. I mean they they would. I would use my current address. I you know I right, right, right. So like no, like you just wouldn't know. Okay. Okay. I think in Germany you would probably mention the name, like the, the the place where you're born. I'd say. We read that a lot. And then yes, I guess also like within the resume you will for instance sometimes you see that people at hobbies or like stuff that they enjoy doing so just to give you the employer a better I guess, image of who you are as a person whereas in American resume you won't see hobbies or anything right? No, you, you may see honors if you've you know uh, done very well on your job, your current job uh -huh. or Sports, academically. Perhaps? No. No, okay. um, not really. Uh, may, now, when you're like applying to a college, mm -hmm. uh, you'll put in hobby, sports, um, extra stuff like that. But mm -hmm. for actual, the boring yet like exciting adult world, real the, life job, uh, real life job, big boy job, you don't put any of that. Okay, okay. So they may ask you that though in an interview. Uh huh. Um, they may ask you, you know, if you played sports. Um, if you know what well, your hobbies, mm -hmm. uh, just and try to get a better read okay. on you, but they won't not an application. Okay, and also like marital status, whether you're married or none of that information. That you're going that to. that goes back towards the end where like it 
it's taken for basically the census and the mm -hmm. data, but they won't ask you that. And sometimes they'll, like an interview, not trick, but when you're being interviewed, a lot of times you'll be taken to lunch mm -hmm. and um, they'll ask you about like your girlfriend or your wife mm -hmm. um, because they want to know, especially if you're younger, like if you're going to work for them for a couple of years and then bounce to another job. Right. So, or if like they're looking for someone young that they can transfer to another city. Mm -hmm. um, so, so they're flexible, yeah, right? Right. So they'll ask you about like, you know, like your relationship status or, you know, sometimes they'll warn you like, hey, if you smoke and like you're on a lunch interview mm -hmm. and they go outside and offer you a cigarette, don't take it. Oh, okay. Because okay. they're testing you to, yeah. you know, because of insurance and for health. Yeah, yeah. So there's, there's little, little things that are, in the gray area mm -hmm. that aren't exactly you know allowed or not allowed um, but like you just have to be kind of savvy on it okay so what are what are some of the typical questions that you would be asked in an interview I'm assuming it's very similar I mean they're probably gonna ask you in the first like why you want to take a certain job mm -hmm. and it's kind of interesting because a lot of like if you apply for a job at this time right now because I guess for like especially like high qualified labor companies are looking for for good like for good people so you're actually if you are high qualified you're actually in a position of demanding like for good I guess like working conditions at this point in Germany right now so um, yeah you're going to be asked about you know why you want to take a certain job why you think you're suitable for a certain job but at the same time you can also ask back the employer by like why you know why should I work here why do you want to work or what can you offer Mm -hmm. Right, so um, I got the two sides of that story, basically. Yeah, it's it's similar in the sense of the questions. I mean, we're like, if if you did go to college, and mm -hmm. yes, um, chances are you took either a communications or a writing class or a resume training class, or even if it was like they'll just kind of like prep you through it mm -hmm. to make sure that you're ready for to be interviewed. Mm -hmm. um, because sometimes interviews are really easy and laid back and it's this natural flow and sometimes they're they're gonna try to trip you up uh -huh. you know uh, so I I think I think you know every job is so unique I've had interviews I've had interviews that lasted for three days mm -hmm. you know I've had interviews in coffee shops you know very casual uh -huh. um, I've had I've been asked um, questions that you know aren't allowed mm -hmm. to be asked um, I once got asked about like my political views oh really yeah and and then I asked like certain things about politicians um, and really they but they weren't looking for what I really believe mm -hmm. they were looking for how I answered oh okay and, and you know they didn't want they didn't want they didn't care about like what right. I really had to think or say they wanted to know if I could tiptoe tip around the like question. a reaction like yeah. okay, getting on the meta level of understanding that they're actually asking something they're not supposed to ask you basically right mm -hmm. and just to see if I, I would answer answer mm -hmm. because if you get like fire back like mm -hmm. real past hell yeah Obama you, yeah hell curry so you got there man <laughs> yeah like then they're like oh we probably can't take this guy out to like a dinner party <laughs> you know like so like they so they do stuff like that um, you know what would you do after an interview after an interview like would you because we like I always, whenever I was interviewed, mm -hmm. I would always write a hand thank you, you know, mm -hmm. to, to them. Do y'all oh, yeah. have, have an etiquette like that? No, I don't think so. I don't think people would. Well, I guess, I guess you kind of want to get in con into contact with them if they don't respond at all, and then you would perhaps do something like that to find a reason to contact them, perhaps. Mm -hmm. um, but usually, if you had an interview, I would you would basically just wait for them to contact you, and you would agree on that. Like usually in the interview, you would be like, well. We're gonna let you know within the next week or something what's gonna happen or you know if we're interested or not. Um, but I mean that's that actually that's a great idea to add, you know think of like a send like a thank you note. Yeah, it's I don't know it's, it's maybe a little old fashioned, but you it's know, in the south a lot. Yeah, I guess, south. Right? Yeah, it's 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 uh, very much the etiquette. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I was trying to think of like some of the interviews I've had in the past. The the weirdest one I've ever had was uh, via Skype. Mm -hmm. um, and it's it's very strange. I. I, I'm not comfortable like just like on a Skype call right. where like you're like face to face with somebody. Mm -hmm. It's very different. Right, right. Yeah, it's, yeah. I wouldn't really like for a serious job. You don't really do Skype interview, right? Well, it was in England, and so <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, they, they they weren't going to fly me across the pond <laughs> for a for a quick just. Uh, uh, oh, do we need you? Nah, we don't. Bye. Right, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Go get some fish and chips. <laughs> <laughs> on your CV, do mm -hmm. you have an English and German CV? Um, I do have one because I applied for a job some 
in the States or like I guess I, apply, I applied for companies that required like a CV in English um, and it depends because if you do it for the for instance the German the German uh, CV you will always give your university grades right you do right. the same you, you'll put yeah. your GPA on the American GPA is uh, like the average of your yeah, grade point average yeah. yeah and so and then if like you graduate with honors or mm -hmm. not yeah yeah but then I guess if you do it for the United States. You would have to like basically change the because I have a like a I got a, a German university exam um, um, degree degree right. Um, so I would have to basically do the math and like change my grades to the American system. Mm -hmm. Whereas if I applied in like South Africa, I would have to change it to the South African system. So right. I was like a little adaptation to the respective country, I guess. But yeah, I, I have one in English, yeah, and I think a lot of people do. Yeah, I I found that just talking with people, a lot of people. Uh, have a lot of, I guess people I've met through you have mm -hmm. the English English resume or CV um, mm -hmm. because so much international business is done in English right. yeah. and it's funny because if you're when I applied for I applied for a German company but they required an English CV and then it's like well am I gonna use like I guess the German CV etiquette or am I gonna apply the American CV etiquette then so you kind of like it's kind of I'm not should I put a picture in or not or should I mention all these things that you're not allowed to mention like an American or not supposed to be mentioned like American resume it's kind of like your do y'all write cover letters yeah yeah yeah, yeah. I, th I think a cover letter is really important if you if you apply for a job oh yeah you're... and if you don't use a cover letter then you're not I mean because that's I, I feel like you get way more information out of a cover letter than you do to send a oh, yeah. resume I, yeah I think no one like if you're applying for a serious job like no one would ever apply for it without like a cover letter. So use like a one page thing. Yeah. And and I guess also like that's where you will reveal more about yourself actually as a person, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, you do and you tie in you try to have your resume as a standalone document. Mm -hmm. And then with your cover letter you tie in more of your personality mm -hmm. and like more like just more detailed about mm -hmm. like your jobs mm -hmm. and everything. Um, mm -hmm. so yeah, and then but cover letters are also supposed to be about a page, you know, a page, um, you don't want to just write a novel. Yeah, and there's a science about this, and we're not getting into it too much, but it's just that, you know, just make sure if you apply for a job in the US and you're German, make sure you adapt and other way around, right? Yes, absolutely. We're crossing our fingers. Good luck to you. Cheers. Y'all take it easy.